Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing an all-in-one polish and it's called Auto Finesse Triple. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel, guys. Do not forget to subscribe. We also have a sister channel called Forensics Unplugged. Go and check that out. And we have a Patreon page where you can get all these different rewards like request your own video or monthly competitions or contests for detailing products or basic access or whatever. We're also on Instagram with the Forensics Detailing channel. There's the intro plug with all the different platforms. Sorry about that. Um, Today we're talking about a polish, an all-in-one polish called Auto Finesse Triple. This product costs around 13 quid for 500 mil. What is it? What is an all-in-one polish? Well, it's an abrasive primarily, so there's light abrasive materials in there which are going to refine, burnish your paint and make it glossy. There's glazes, and whenever you hear that term, it's usually materials which add gloss usually a resinous and might have a certain amount of filling. And there is Carnuba Wax in here as well, which is a protective shiny product, which you know is a foundation of lots of car maintenance products, car waxes. And all those ingredients are carried in a solvent, so it's a solvent-based product as opposed to a water-based product. Um, application of this product, guys, you can apply it by hand using an, well, they advise you use a microfiber application. You could probably use a sponge one if you wanted to as well, and you work the product into the paintwork, um, and the more you rub it, the more you utilize the abrasive function. But by hand, obviously, there's going to be a limit to that. So you give it a good working until you film the form and the product starts to thin out, and then you leave the product to haze. You know, give it a few minutes till you can do the finger swipe and then buff it off to a shine. And that process of rubbing your paintwork should clear away any oxidization, any dullness on the paint, uh, hopefully any light watermarks. It should tidy up and give you a nice, glossy, clear finish and hopefully mask swirls. It's important to say with these types of product, if your paintwork is covered in swirls and your expectation is to use this and remove all those swirls, um, glazes are never going to do that. They will just improve paint quality by masking and filling some of those. So this is less of a paint protection product and more of a quick way of cleaning up, enhancing and protecting your paintwork. That's the easiest way to describe it. You can also use this product on a machine polisher. So you simply put four pea-sized dots of it, treat it like a finishing polish. In other words, don't use loads of it. Um, and just work it by machine. We'll talk a little bit about how effective it is later on. That's kind of what it is, guys. As part of the review function as well, we're going to talk about three alternatives to this, uh, other products that you might want to look at that are in this class. So this is Auto Finesse Triple, 13 pounds to 500 mil. You might also want to check out a product called Poor Boy's Black Hole, which is 13.95 for 500 mil or Auto Glim Super Resin Polish, which is £13.50 for 500ml, or Built Hamber Cleanser Fluid, which is £17 for 500ml. So there's three good alternatives, um, and the, the thing to note is that that's cheaper than all three of those products, so the price is decent. There's some good consu consumer information for you. Three things, cut function, glaze function, wax function. First up, guys, do not expect this product to really be able to cut your paint, especially if you're using it by hand. The cut function on it is very, very mild, okay? The glaze function and filling function is mild as well. If you can see swirls under kind of normal light, not intense light, don't expect to rub this over your paintwork and for those swirls to disappear. If your paintwork is covered in swirls, it will mask the fine ones and that will make your paint color look better and less white and less opaque. Um, but the glaze function on all of these products is relatively minor, not just this, even SRP or Built Hamber. They're all quite mild products and you shouldn't use them for full paint correction. They're kind of like quick fixes. The wax function on this, guys, you're going to get, I think Auto Finesse claim that you'll get about a month's protection, which is probably, probably fair. If a company's saying a month, what they're saying is it's not going to 
it's not going to give you a massive amount of protection. Not sure why if it has wax in there and you, you let it set, but it's a very oily type product. Usually when a product sets dry and harder, then you'll get long durability, whereas this product feels very soft to buff off. Typically you don't get the durability. So I'd expect really, if you've got your car outside and it's kind of winter, you'll probably get a couple of weeks. In summer, you may well get a month, something like that. But you can see, it will probably last a month, but you'll, you're not gonna be able to tell after, after a few weeks that it's there. Okay, what are the pros and cons of this product, guys? First of all, let's do the cons. The abrasive function. For me, I would love if, if it was possible to crank up the abrasive function on this product by another 20%. I would love it if it could do that because I'm just testing it on little fine swirls and it performed by hand as I expected it to and it won't take those swirls out. Um, however, you get it on the machine and you work the product harder and pressure into it, you can unlock the capability of this product and that's that is another negative, is that to really unlock this, I believe you need a machine polisher and this product suddenly comes alive. Um, another negative is that the protection product in this is Carnauba Wax, which will cause compatibility issues with this glaze if you're using it as a primer for other sealants. Lots of sealants are not compatible with Carnauba Waxes. Ceramic coatings aren't, carnu aren't compatible with Carnauba Waxes. So that means this product isn't a universal paint preparation system. So that's a negative. Uh, protection is limited, as I've already said. Um, there we go, and you need the machine polisher to fully unlock it. The pros, guys, the ace card of this product is the buff. This product is an absolute peach to buff. It doesn't get any better than this, and I mean that. You can also leave this product, as I've just done, on the panel for well over an hour, and the film that's left, still after leaving it there, is, is just beautiful to buff. It never dries to this, it never toughens up, basically. Um, and it's a really important thing to get right, the usability. It is an absolute peach to buff this product off your panel. There's also a nice fragrance to this. I've told you before, I don't care about fragrance, but there's a subtle fragrance going on in here that just describes, it just masks the solvent smell a little bit, and it's very mild. It just smells a little bit, a bit, bit soapy almost, like a fresh lavender soap, and it's nice. And it kind of stops it getting up your nose, so I put that as a positive. Next thing, the cure time after you've buffed it and leave it to the point where you can, sorry, after you've worked it and finished, you can basically leave it about a minute and the finger swipe um, test pass and it buffs off. So you can actually use the product relatively quickly. You haven't got to have it sitting on your paintwork for 20 minutes before you buff. So you can work quite quickly with it. There is no chalky residue with it, which is nice. So you're not, the more you buff, um, with some products, you know, you can get that residue to the point where you want to swap microfibers or you start seeing the crumbs coming off the paint. No crumbs at all, no dust as well, um, and that's really nice. It's still an abrasive, so you want to keep it away from rubbers and, and plastic trim and stuff like that, but very nice to use uh, and very nice to remove from the panel. Okay, guys, I want to end this video now. I'm going to give Auto Finesse triple all-in-one polish a score of eight and a half out of 10. I don't usually do scores, but just to show you how much I rate it. It could have, how does it get a 10 out of 10? It does that, it picks up three extra half marks if it can tick the bargain basement bucket and get, it's less than 10 pounds, then it'd be a bargain, then it'd get an extra half mark. If it had a slightly more cut capability that you could utilize by hand, that would get it another half mark. And if it was universally compatible as a primer with other things, you know, with other products like acrylic sealants, ceramics, and universally compatible or more compatible. It's a bit of an unknown using wax as a primer for all these different types of synthetic sealants. In fact, you probably wouldn't. So that compatibility issue costs it half mark as well. The key thing why that's a good score, guys, and usually most products will be closer to five, you know, just average, and average is good, average is average. Um, the reason I rate it so highly is because it's a peach to buff. You don't have to keep going over it, um, which is very important if you don't have all the lighting that I have and you haven't got the garage, so I'm, in, I'm inspecting it. You know, I've got the ability to inspect, but when you don't, you just put in a product on, you wash your car, you put this product on outside, the fact it will come off so easily 
means there's less like chances of little patches of product everywhere. Um, and I like the fact that you don't get that um, crumbly kind of chalky residue. It is just lovely to buff. Um, you also cannot keep removing clear coat all the time. So I can't, you, some of you guys say I'm constantly polishing my car. Well, this bonnet on my car has only been po ever polished once, you know, uh, with pure abrasives. And the car has only ever been polished twice. Once, full correction, then this year, just going over it with a soft pad, you know, just to tidy it up. So, but you can't, you're right, you can't keep polishing your car. You should really polish it once and then each year just a mild kind of tidy up. And this would be ideal for that, providing you haven't put too much swells in. Or it's ideal for guys at home that don't want to kind of buy heavy cut compound, finishing polish, um, you know, and then after you've done that two stage polishing and you degrease, then you've got to put a product on and buff again. It's more of a product that you can save a lot of time with. And of course there's compromises. Um, if these, if these time saver all in one products gave you better durability than dedicated sealants and better results than dedicated pure abrasives, then those other products wouldn't exist. So there are, of course, compromises. So it's important that a review makes you understand that. We've covered that already. It's important that the review provides you with other market alternatives, which we've done, and this product is on is cheaper than those. So it's, that's another thumbs up as well. And we've given you my kind of negatives around the product, which I have to do as a review. I want to say though, generally there's a lot of negativity around certain brands out there, including, a, and especially Auto Finesse, Chemical Guys, you know, a lot of brands seem to get the brunt of all this negativity, and they don't always deserve it. I'm interested, I don't have to use all of a brand's products, you know, to, to like them. I love kind of Auto Glim stuff, there's not much of it on my shelf, but I still still like them. I like Chemical Guys products and stuff like that, and I certainly like Auto Finesse products, but I like the brand, and I get some value out of seeing what the brand are up to, and seeing what cars they're working on, and how they film the cars, and do the photography in that, because I'm interested in cars, and you can't fake that passion for cars. And some of the brands don't do that, because they don't have that passion. So that's why I think Auto Finesse have succeeded because they've got the passion for the cars and even if you don't like all of their products guys I'm telling you there are no reasons not to like this sometimes Reg has let me borrow this product and he doesn't think that it's that good and I think it's an expectation issue that he's expecting it to take out swells in his paintwork and leave the paintwork flawless it won't do that um, you've got to put a bit more time in with the product with stiffer pads if you're going to utilize the cut out of it and it will it will improve the paintwork if you spend the time working it a bit longer um, but it's how it is to work that's the key thing so that's all i want to say about this this is a product that i think i'm going to keep and master reg hopefully won't watch this review because i'm going to stick this on my um shelves and if if he asks for it back <laughs> if he asks for it back I'll be upset. I might have to go and buy a bottle, which I don't often do. So, Auto Finesse Triple, it's a peach of a product. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, guys. Its strengths, any potential weaknesses. Keep it sensible, please. Um, and I'll try and find the product and stick a link for it in the description where you can buy it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Take care, and uh, I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. what I knew but the moment's gone where was I when you